Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. Take two, because the first time didn't work. Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy Kelvin here and today we are back together again here on YouTube. It's been a while and today's video is not about me giving you guys or telling you my excuses as to where I've been, why I've been so busy, but much rather to show you my excuses in a what did COVID do to me video, uh, basically uh, a life update and what I've been doing since March 2020, which was when Toronto, the city that I'm from, uh, went into lockdown. Uh, at the beginning, especially, I was quite motivated to really try to make the most of my uh, quarantine experience. I My mentality was if I'm going to be stuck inside, I'm going to try to really maximize what I can do just to just to see like by the end of, let's say, 10 months of doing this, like what would I have accomplished? And and I sit before you today talking to you what I have done in the past 10 months and I'd say I'm pretty uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of what I've been able to achieve so luckily I would say uh, I didn't have any major health issues people around me didn't have any major health issues um, we're all relatively healthy so that's a big um, big fortune uh, and then I also luckily had uh, friends uh, and still people that I got to see to keep me sane um, uh, and a huge thing too is that luckily I also still had a job. I know that was something that was quite challenging for a lot of people, a lot of young people. Um, so for me, I luckily had those things. So as my city is about to go back into lockdown, I wanted to make this video to share my quarantine story and to share a couple of the things that I've done and things that I've tried that I think has worked well for me to get through quarantine. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three main things. I'm going to talk about what did COVID actually look like for me? How did I spend my time? What was my day to day? I'm going to then talk about what was I able to accomplish during COVID and really in the after 10 months of quarantine, what has it done to me? And then thirdly, I'm going to talk about what has helped me kind of get through quarantine or, or cope with quarantine a little bit better and share that with you guys. And if you like this video, if you, uh, you know, I know I have, there's really not much on my channel right now, but if you want to stick around, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I make videos about fashion, fitness, and human function, and I'm going to be making new videos. So if you want to stick around for some more content with me, uh, then hit the subscribe button and I will see you around. Let's get actually into the video. That was the preamble that I needed after a however long it has been since I've seen you um, or talked to you guys. So that first question of what did COVID look like for me? So like I said, I was, uh, I, I was still employed, so I was still working full time, but I was also full time in school. I was doing a master's in digital media. So school was virtual. I was conducting a research study. At, so if I wasn't working or in school or trying to cook, then I would be working out. I was working out four to five times a week. I made that a big goal for me to stay physically active at least every other day. Um, so I was either working out or just trying to enjoy the weather when I can. To talk a bit more about the working out aspect, I usually train in the gym, but because clearly that wasn't an option, I had to look into at-home options. And for me living in a condo at the time, it was not, the there's not much you can do. I didn't want to buy like a full rack or anything because I knew quarantine. Once quarantine is over, I'd be able to go back to my gym. Um, so things that I bought, I got a pull-up bar, I got resistance bands, and then I also made makeshift weights by using uh, protein tubs that I filled with water and then put in plastic bags. Uh, and I just used that because I was desperate and that's all I got. I did a lot of body weight exercises. I had to try new things that I didn't do before. So for example, like handstand presses, um, if that's what they're called, against the wall. I 
thankfully a couple of the pros that I like to watch on YouTube, especially like Athlean X and Chris Heria, they put out some really good at home exercise content. So I was following a couple of their stuff and then also following one of my boys, Theo, uh, who is a trainer here in Toronto, one of uh, some of his, his stuff because he was also doing online Zoom classes. Just literally anything to keep myself uh, sane, uh, mainly to break up my day so that I would have work stuff, school stuff, and then other stuff to do. To kind of brag a bit now, because I'm kind of a cocky douchebag, uh, what was I able, <laughs> what was I able to accomplish since COVID? There are three kind of main buckets of accomplishments I would say, uh, for work, for school, and then for me personally. So for work, uh, like I kind of hinted before, my workplace was busier than ever, which I would say is a blessing. Um, really kept us busy. We were trying our best to help um, our communities as best as we can. So the work that I was doing was, I would say pretty rewarding because it was just trying to help creatives and entrepreneurs um, migrate into this new world of COVID and quarantine. Got promoted in May. So I used to be the head of marketing for one department uh, under the uh, research and innovation vertical of a university here in Toronto. And then now I'm the head of marketing for uh, that oversees a portfolio of six departments at the university. So that was pretty awesome. That happened in May. Uh, I got a new job. So after I graduated my master's um, in, of digital media, I became a startup coach um, for an entrepreneurship course at the master's level here at the university. So I then became a startup coach. And then I, uh, and then I also started two new businesses. One is K9 Editorials. Here are my shameless plugs. One, <laughs> one is K9 Editorials, which is a pet photography business that I started with my boy Forrester. And then the second one is Animedia, which stands for Artists Need Artists, which is a media production company that I started with uh, two of my other boys, Alex and Slater, um, and both are professional music producers uh, and videographers, video editors. So we kind of joined forces to create Animedia. Talking about accomplishments here with Animedia, we came together for not even a month and we already had three clients. So that was major. We shot everything before the snow hit here in Toronto. So that was two like music video projects and then one um, Kickstarter campaign. Uh, what else we got? I just feel like I'm bragging a bit here, which you know what I am, okay? I'm bragging so that this may inspire you guys to take some action. And then for school, uh, like I said, I graduated my master's, but I didn't just graduate because throughout the year I worked on and received a national research grant. So there I uh, was granted $30,000 um, for my research study, um, which was pretty awesome. And then also for school, my classmates and I came together to put together a online digital showcase for our year end called Neo Normal. It was major. We had like over a hundred people um, part of the event. Uh, and it really set uh, an example for uh, other showcases that happened after ours because people were really impressed by what we did. Um, and then the last category of accomplishments would be what I was able to accomplish for myself um, or for personal things is I gained around 10 pounds of muscle, which for somebody like me who is a hard, hard, hard gainer, like that was a lot. Uh, and I'm pretty proud of that. And we just did just I was able to maintain a healthy plant family of over 10 family members, which I went from zero plants to like over 10 plants. Um, everybody's alive. Uh, I picked up my painting and art um, hobbies again. I also spent some time outside. Uh, I went camping like five, six times because that was one of the only things you could do. Oh, and I also learned how to cook more because I had to cook for myself. And I was actually able to make something on one of our uh, cottage trips this summer where my friends ate and actually said it was good. Summary points here as to talking about like what COVID and quarantine did to me. One, it really made me take ownership of my time. The excuse of I don't have enough time kind of doesn't work when you're just stuck inside and all you have is time. So it really made me motivated and really made me want, um, have the opportunity to make sure I'm going full throttle as much as I can to do all these things that I wanted to do. It also made me really uh, miss my friends and family uh, and really made me appreciate hanging out with them once I could. Uh, I'm once, uh, you know, in the very beginning, the first two, three months, I literally saw like none of them. And then in, when the rules started loosening, we started seeing each other again. And then our Friday, Saturday uh, hangouts have literally become like the highlights of my week. <laughs>
<laughs> and then it's just become like group therapy for us, which is pretty awesome. So this is something I definitely would say I took for granted before, but then now I'm, I, I'm really appreciating hanging out with them. And then the last thing I want to say here is that during quarantine, as much as I have accomplished, uh, it was by far one of the most challenging and emotionally draining periods of my entire life. I started noticing that the seasons really affect my emotions. Um, like I would always get really sad in mid-November and I always get really sad like for like a couple days in like January. But with quarantine, I noticed that that pattern and those feelings came back much more often. So what I wanted to do this video for was to was to kind of share a bit of what I was able to accomplish. Although, you know, with the, with the other side of it being that this was really, really hard for me. I was, like I said, living alone for the most part. So it was just me and maybe like 12 walls. So yeah, it was really hard on my mental health. Uh, the, the, those periods really came back every now and then. And it was just hard because you didn't have the usual things that could give you those spikes of happiness. Like you couldn't go and watch a movie, you can't hang out with your friends. So a lot of times it was just like down here and I, it was really hard. So the last question I want to speak to is what are some things that I've tried that has helped me deal with the quarantine and deal with uh, some of this sadness? So one thing is uh, that I started doing things or, or really refocusing on doing certain things that have nothing to do with anything besides the fact that it makes me happy. So that painting thing that I was talking about was one of those things that has really made me happy on the days that I would feel really sad. Another thing is try to really plan goals for yourself, but plan achievable goals that you can uh, work on in quarantine it, it is really easy to just be at home and potato and watch netflix if that's one of your goals and you want to watch all the netflix that you can great but what i'm trying to push here is maybe you want to strive for a bit more maybe you want to do this thing that you've never done before maybe you want to read that book that you've always wanted to read whatever these goals that you want to achieve are like put them out there uh, and, and work towards them so that you're actually progressing even if you're just stuck inside. And then three is, uh, if you can, talk about your feelings with people that you trust. For example, my friend group and I, like I said, it's become group therapy when we hang out. And more recently, the topic of mental health has surfaced like we're all suffering and it's something that like these are kids that i've known for like 10 years over 10 years and like this is probably the first time we've really talked about our feelings about anxiety and work stress and all of that um not to say that we didn't talk about work stress before but like we we kind of became a little bit more open about our feelings and it really has been really nice um so yeah try to find people that you can actually talk about your feelings with and that you're comfortable with doing that that is kind of it as to what COVID did to me. Uh, this is kind of a long video, kind of a long wrap up, but I hope you maybe got something out of it. I got a peek into what my life looked like since March, 2020. Uh, once again, my name is Kelvin. Thank you for watching my video and hanging out with me today. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I think that's gonna be a wrap. If you also wanna follow me on Instagram, it is at Kelvin Originals. There is a lot of videos of my dog, uh, which is mainly what I put on there. Um, and so yeah, for now, uh, stay safe. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Nice to see those of you who are coming back to my channel. And I really hope that you guys can make the best of what quarantine has to offer for you. Um, stay safe, stay sane as much as you can. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for spending some time for me today and I'll see you in my next video. See ya. That's a wrap. Is that a wrap?